Okay, so I wanted to make this video mostly because, uh, you know, um, I thought that the debate was in a very, very bad format. You know, first of all, I was interrupted all the time. I, I was trying to not interrupt him, but uh, uh, he didn't act, uh, British audio, Minesh didn't act at all like, you know, the supposed British person that he is. Um, I started saying, I'm not going to interrupt you. But, you know, he was the one interrupting me during my time when it was told him not to interrupt me. So, and anyway, uh, the entire idea, right, he's wrong. So at all levels, knowledge is always better than ignorance. So that is the entire point. That is the entire idea of me wanting to discuss this thing with anybody. Uh, the reason why I discuss it with him at all is because not because I think he's important, influential, or he has a merit of anything. He's just one of these peddlers that we found. <coughs> there are a lot of these influencers on uh, YouTube, and the point is, they hate the power law because <coughs> it makes them irrelevant. Uh, they say, like you know, look at what he did. He showed this uh, graph of the price of Bitcoin going mm -hmm. up. When that is the power law, first of all, and second, trying want to, to say what Bitcoin goes up based on what that is the entire idea. The power law is extremely useful, and you can say whatever you want because it tells us it's going up. That is his main claim. Bitcoin is going up and he's doing it in a very precise fashion, and the science behind the logic behind. Tell us that they will continue to do. It's the best thing that we can have in terms of numbers go up. Everything else is just end waving. Everything else is just wishful thinking. Everything else is maybe is going up. Or the same probability of going up is also the probability of going down. So he has absolutely no basis with his rules. Buy uh, Bitcoin, shut up. What does it mean? Buy on what? This is your way of convincing people by based on what? What is your argument? So you're basically a scammer. I know that doesn't sound like that, right? Because uh, when we go and tell people, look, you know, Bitcoin has all these incredible properties, etc. Which property are you talking about? The fact that it's scarce? Scarce, by the way, there is no one single evidence uh, that anything that relates to scarcity has driven the price of Bitcoin up. So it's misinformation. You're giving people misinformation. While the fact that uh, Bitcoin is a network, that people want to join in, that uh, the uh, growth follows a, a precise uh, a pattern, that is reality. And that can be demonstrated scientifically, mathematically. Uh, there, is, there are logical reasons why we will continue in the future. So let me explain, in fact, these logical reasons, OK? Because it's a very important uh, topic. Um, the fact that Bitcoin grows in a very precise fashion has to do with what is called scale invariance. Scale invariance means everything that happens to Bitcoin is proportional. Let me show you this in a graph. OK, I'm going to uh, show this in a graph. I'm grabbing my slides. Okay, here it is. Okay, so when we plot the coin in a, a log log graph, we get uh, a straight line. What does that straight line mean? It means that uh, we are focusing. I'm, I'm looking for the right slide. Okay. Okay, this line. So you see how the power law is a straight line, right? It's a straight line in a log log graph. So it means that if we look at uh, the log of a price and the log uh, of a time, uh, we see a very precise progression. This is what a straight line means. A straight line, it's a constant progression. It means the change uh, in the y-axis is proportional 
to the change in the x-axis. So this change that, that is proportional, because we have logs, is a change in scale. It means that any time that we change the price by a factor of 10 along the price, we need to change also Hello, the time Otto. in a proportional fashion. So um, this, this change in scale, but of price and time, is what creates the straight line. So as we go, this is why I have two triangles, right? So you can look at a particular place in this change in price of the coin and say, okay, this is going to happen also in the future because I all what I can do is to extend this blue triangle to and make it bigger. And now I have this pink triangle that represents everything up to this point in the future. And you can see that I change the size in the y-axis and the change of the size in the x-axis. So this proportional change is the essence of a power law. Now, why we can use this as, I don't say a guarantee because it cannot be a guarantee given that uh, we're talking about uh, um, assets, but a strong scientific basis for making predictions in the future. Because this type of systems that are described by this very proportional change in one scale versus another, they, con they are called scale invariant for a reason. They came up with a terminology and the entire thing about British Oil is, is ignorance about everything, including terminology. He has a problem with law, 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 law. It's, it's superstition. It's ignorance. It's the purest for ignorant form when you don't even know the terminology. Every field has its own terminology. Bitcoin has its own terminology. Blockchain. I don't see any chain here. There is no chain. It's stupid. It's stupid to focus on some terminology that you don't understand. And you are trying to make an entire point, an entire discussion on this terminology. This is the level of this individual, but it's not him, it's all the people that follow him. And, you know, they say, I insult him. I'm not insulting, I'm calling a spade a spade. If you are so ignorant and you don't want to change your ignorance, the beauty about ignorance is that it can be changed. You can become not ignorant, okay, by learning and studying and understanding. This guy doesn't make any effort in doing that. And in fact, he's proud of being ignorant. That is his problem. Okay, he makes a, 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 you know, a virtue of being ignorant. He makes a, a business of being ignorant. So all what I'm trying to do here is to go against ignorance. And yes, I am strong. I'm very passionate. I'm Italian. You know, get used to it. You know, this is how I talk. This I am passionate. You don't like it? Go and listen to somebody else. Somebody that uh, is a jerk, uh, being a passive aggressive person like he is. He's is, has been more insulting than me. He called me all kind of names. He can use all kind of uh, ethnic slurs. Uh, he was breaking the spaghetti at any moment. It, you know, uh, it's, it's stupid. He's, you know, he has done 100 times worse than anything I have done. Okay? It's just that people are not used to my Italian passion. Uh, I'm proud of it, and I will continue to do it. If you don't like it, go listen to somebody else. Okay? I'm trying to show you some knowledge and some very important ideas. Okay, um, so let's, let's continue with this idea. You see how I can extend this triangle and I can make this uh, uh, extension to the future, all based on this idea of proportionality. So the idea is that uh, when you have a system that grows in this way, there are very precise underlying causes. There are very precise underlying processes. It's all based on iterations. Everything, sure, you cannot predict uh, exactly the particular event uh, that uh, um, is linked with that particular situation, uh, but everything that happens to Bitcoin will be proportional to where Bitcoin is at this particular time. And it, the process continues. This is exactly what he did for 15 years. Okay, All the different events in terms of uh, contribution, money, um, innovation, everything was proportional 
to where Bitcoin was at a very particular time in its evolution. And that is the idea behind this, this principle of scale invariance. Actually, it's one of the places where scientists feel the most confident uh, about making predictions because once a system is settled in this particular way of behaving, in this particular pattern, it will continue to do so. Okay? It's very unlikely for this system to change. Now, you can have local events. You can have the bubbles, for example. The bubbles themselves are almost like a, an attempt to get away from the power law, right? You can see, okay, something happens, there is some event like the Albany, uh, there is excitement, there is a lot of FOMO, there is a deviation from the trend. Notice what happens, we go back to the trend. And it, this has done, this happened many times, okay, over and over again. But every time it happens, we go back to that general trend, okay? So that is the entire idea. It's a beautiful thing. It cannot deny. Look at this graph. Look at this graph. Stare at this graph and tell me how it's possible that this thing is due by chance. It's not. And don't you want to know? Don't you want to understand? Don't you want to admire such a thing? What will you gain from closing your eyes? What will you gain from ignoring it? Nothing. And this is exactly what British Shadow likes. He likes nothing. He likes, this challenges him because, first of all, he needs to understand it. He needs to spend the time to learn it. And it goes against uh, the simple little things that he says and is losing relevance, okay? Because, okay, why should we buy Bitcoin? Well, because it's a scale invariant system and has behaved in this way for 15 years. It's a very established system. It's very difficult for this system to change and in particular to go to zero. There is a very strong support line that seems you know, to be violated that gives us a, a level of confidence that we never go below this price. And you know, it also guides you, so it's very useful because it's not about trading. Uh, that is something that somebody wants to do, he can do, and he can use the power law also for that. But if you, if you simply want to do DCA, for example, it gives you very strong, powerful indications of where you should be able to buy, for example, when it's the minimum, you know, when we are close to a law. And then, you know, these red areas are areas that maybe you should avoid in terms of buying Bitcoin. Wait until we reach the green. You know, what is wrong with this knowledge? Nothing, absolutely nothing. It's a powerful knowledge. It can be used. It's actionable uh, and it helps Bitcoiners immensely. He is continuing to say that it's useless, that it's uh, uh, dangerous, etc. because it hurts his business. It hurts his, uh, his way of presenting Bitcoin that is based on ignorance, is based on and waving this thinking uh, and laziness, to be honest, because uh, it's, you know, it's not that a simple message helps. It's a simple message has no basis. There is no real logic behind it. Uh, uh, it's just some generic statement. It's not effective, first of all. Try to use that uh, to orange peel people. And second, you know, it's, also makes you think that, uh, yeah, you can have these God candles, anything is allowed, you know, what do you gain from that? Um, it, it, you know, this is one of the things that drives me crazy about these people that are against the power law, is basically anything goes, you know, the, this is what they are trying to sell, anything goes, anything is possible. Yes, uh, I could have a, a candle that, uh, like a single candle, it's so ridiculous, a single candle that uh, brings the coin to, you know, $300,000. What do you think will happen? The, the price will crash. People will feel, will lose confidence. And, you know, many people will be wrecked. It's stupid. It's completely stupid. If you understand the power law, it tells you that that is extremely unlikely to happen. And even if it happens, then we go back to the trend. So there is so much knowledge, beauty, um, it's fascinating to understand. It distinguishes Bitcoin from anything else, uh, any other type of assets. So I don't understand how anybody that with a minimum of brain, and yes, I'm very direct. I'm telling people, it's not people that disagree with me, but it's nothing to 
disagree. There is absolutely nothing to disagree. I'm not attacking people that do not that agree with me. If anybody came up with a vari- valid uh, uh, concern, a valid criticism of the TI, I would be the first one to welcome that person and having that discussion because it will allow me to understand Bitcoin better. What I'm attacking is directly is the ignorance and the arrogance. I'm direct. I'm telling you in your face, you are an ignoramus. And in particular, not when you're coming with uh, humility and you want to understand and you have valid concern or maybe even a general question. I am a teacher. I would never, never dismiss a person like that. Never. And I'm, I'm addressing every single day because people don't see because, again, it's part of being ignorant. It's part of having zero proof of work. We are talking about all the time in the community having proof of work. What is your proof of work? You're coming here. You just heard about some idiot like a British old Odo talking about stuff it doesn't know, it doesn't understand. And not just that, it doesn't want to understand. That is the worst part. And then you're making some generic claim about stuff that you don't know. It's like me interrupting a surgery and going there and say, hey, this suture is not correct, etc. And I have to say something because, you know, that is what you do on the internet. You go and say something based on your ignorance. But I'm sorry, I will, I'm doing a service. I'm going, uh, is refreshing. I'm doing something completely different that nobody else does. I'm telling you, you're a piece of shit, garbage, go away, okay? It, of, because of your attitude it, that you don't want to learn and that you are arrogant and you're thinking that you are somebody saying something that is meaningful. Opinions, opinions are garbage. Opinions are not worth it anything with something like this. You cannot substitute opinion with a graph and data and knowledge. You cannot. Your opinion is worth nothing, less than nothing. It's actually disgusting. So, you know, I'm direct. I'm straight. I'm Italian. I'm loud. I'm unclear. You don't like it? Then follow somebody else. Then follow the ignorant people. Do whatever. You know, I'm, I'm who I am. And I love knowledge. I love Bitcoin. I'm trying to inform people. I'm trying to show how beautiful Bitcoin is because at the end, the main message is how beautiful, unique, amazing Bitcoin is. And as Fermi says, knowledge is always better than ignorance. No matter what, that is the fundamental thing. So I hopefully this clarifies a little bit of stuff. Um, I'm going to take some of the questions that uh, Fred has, and I'm going to answer more precisely one by one um, in following videos, because this is much more constructive. You know, the entire point of the debate was to tell him in his face how ignorant he is. He continues to be ignorant, that is what he represents. I think that is a disservice to the community to have people like this. If people find useful to have ignorant people, they can. we are all free. They can do whatever they want. They can follow British all that is the ignorance champion. And I think he's, he's the one that is useless, to, in my opinion. Okay, thank you to uh, listen.